this is the centenary year of the Royal College of Nursing. It's a hundred years since the founding sisters and uh, a few gentlemen as well helped to establish the Royal College of Nursing. And we now find ourselves with around 435,000 members. When we got here we were knocked away by the layout, by what the staff had actually done to make us feel welcome and engaged. The members so far and their feedback absolutely loved the venue, absolutely loved Glasgow. Everything was very slick from the small things like coffee to the big things like the air conditioning, getting the temperature in a massive hall with 2,000 delegates in it just right. It's very important when you look at the fact that um, we had people away from home for a week, that we, we look after them not just educationally and spiritually but with their health and wellbeing. If we can send them away with a positive message that although you're away from home or away, away at a congress, you can still have that healthy input into your life. Health and wellbeing is really important for our delegates. Um, it's a long week, it's quite stressful and it's a chance for them to get a break and to think about themselves. So in the morning we've got yoga sessions, we've got breathing techniques, we've got meditation and so that just gives the delegates the best start to their day. Um, one thing we've done this year is to have a centenary theme um, colouring in session where people can just go and relax. It's, it's about mindfulness and I've taken a break throughout Congress. Um, we've also had the Health Hub where we've had massages such as the Shiatsu and also Bowden therapy. Um, and this is just a, another chance for delegates to really take some time out. They have things in place such as healthier lunch options. They helped us um, get the bike hire higher for the delegates through Next Bikes. During the conference we have um, signs on all the loops that go around and inside the Congress itself. And we're constantly promoting all the health and wellbeing um, initiatives through Twitter as well, especially the pedometer challenge. People don't have to walk thousands of steps, but if the first step to a healthy lifestyle is making the contemplation that you need to make the change. And Congress is a good place for that when they see people thinking about making change and then actually making the change. If we can just do a little bit to inspire people to get a wee bit more active, to get a wee bit more exercise into them, even if it is just walking from hotel to the venue or the provision of a bike while we're here or 20 minutes yoga during the day, it all adds up.